It's LEGO Universe, the LEGO MMORPG massively multiplayer online role-playing game where the universe is being invaded by the bad kind of LEGOs, which are, I guess, the knockoff brands, right? Like the cheap ones? If it doesn't say LEGO, it's not a LEGO. In LEGO Universe, you join the Nexus Force and save the universe from the evil Maelstrom, which is out to destroy imagination. Using your creative, imaginative mind, you build, customize, and battle with LEGOs. In this online MMORPG aimed at a younger market, which, of course, sends up countless warning flags to parents because you know how the internet is. However, LEGO has gone to great lengths to ensure the game meets its E10 Plus rating and is appropriate for children and those who enjoy LEGO as long as they behave themselves. In fact, a real human moderator, or at least one made out of LEGO, has to approve your name before it can be used in the game. So as LEGO Lord Carnage was sent out to the magical land of approval, I played the game using a temporary name, Electric Gravel Goat. After some well-produced cutscenes, setting the stage, you embark on your first several missions, which are basically just instructions on how to play the game. LEGO Universe is a subscription-based video game, and it's a packaged game that you can pick up at many retailers out there. Your first month is included, and like many other MMORPGs, you pay a subscription fee after that if you'd like to continue. You can also go to legouniverse.com and learn a lot more about the game there. Using my transforming robot calculator watch, I figured out that about six months of this game equals the same price as one major AAA title video game. By harvesting imagination and collecting some Lego pieces, I was able to build a rocket and fly to my next destination. Many would probably describe this game as Lego Minecraft or Lego World of Warcraft, aimed at a younger audience, and that's somewhat true. You accept missions, collect rewards, find LEGO pieces, and within reason can build your own world, as long as it's approved by LEGO. There's tons of challenges, countless things to do, and according to the producers that I met at LEGO Kids Fest, the game is constantly being expanded. Production value is extremely high. I'm always terrible with PC controls, so don't mind the jerky camera work. That's more my problem than the game's. And there are a slew of parental controls for those with young children who would like to experience LEGO Universe. Now, in addition to playing through the plot, some of the other ways that you can spend your time in here are collecting LEGO pieces and then building your own little world that you can share with the rest of the real world. Provided that you don't try to make the giant mountain of because that probably won't make it past moderators. I have no idea how much time somebody spent building this environment, but it's quite impressive, and you can spend a lot of time in LEGO Universe. Because it takes a while to build anything, you're literally piecing things together with LEGOs. Speaking of moderating, did you notice that the name LEGO Lord Carnage has been approved? That's because whoever was moderating that, if they did their research, would have found out that Lord Carnage is the secret ruler of Denmark. Here's a quick look at the creation screen. You find all of these objects out there by completing missions and collect Legos, and then you can build your own virtual Lego set. I started off with some castle pieces, and the controls do take some time to get used to. And if you enjoy creating and building with these virtual Legos, time is a luxury that you'll pay for. But that's the game. That's the kind of game this is. That's how it's advertised. A Lego MMORPG where you can live your life in a virtual universe built out of Lego. Sound fun? Well, it is. The game is remarkably well made. And it's extremely fun. If you're into this stuff, I tend to prefer shorter games myself. But if you're looking to buy a year subscription to LEGO Universe, you won't run out of things to do.
You can obviously outfit your character with a variety of different armor pieces and weapons that you collect throughout the game. You can also chat with other players, you can make friends, however unlike other games in the genre, everything that you do is under the watchful eye of the all-powerful LEGO. So if you don't behave yourself, you will find your LEGO head hanging from a LEGO tree somewhere. Or at the very least, you'll just be thrown off the service. It's LEGO Universe, where you save imagination one LEGO brick at a time.